All right, I'm trying to fix this logo graphic a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, my select tool. I'm going to double click on this movie clip. Now I'm inside the movie clip. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to edit all of these frames and make the um, text a little bigger to see if that helps the shape tweens so that it doesn't tweak the text out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to this button called Edit Multiple Frames and click on it. And you can see I've dragged, I've already dragged out the um, the slider here so that I can edit all of these frames at the same time. Now I will get this transform tool, free transform tool, and I will just click and drag over all the letters and you'll see it actually selects all five of these keyframes and now I can um, make the text a little bigger right like that. You know I could do something like that if I wanted or right slightly bigger whatever it is uh, that looks pretty good right and then go back to my select tool and then back to scene one and then try it out and you see now that the the, the um, letters are a little bit bigger and so I'm not getting the um, distortion from the shape tween so I like that a lot better so I'm pretty happy with that and then I can center it and I've got the button and what I'll do is I'll just grab some of the text from my other version. So for my other version, I've got this one in green. I'll just copy that and go to this movie and then edit, paste in place, right? And then from this other movie here, I've also got some more text. This is all Arial bold. These are size 16. And I'm just going to copy all that, right? And control C to copy and put that here edit, paste in place, and so now I've got these graphics. Not only that, I took and made a little um, movie clip of just the one dude, and I'll, I'll copy that too, and um, I can copy that and paste it, or I'm actually going to do something different, so we'll see about that. So click here to begin, and now let's see here. So this is the intro, preloader, intro. What I want to do also is I want to have a part that um, has the high scoreboard, right? So let's see here. I'm going to turn off Edit Multiple Frames by going here, um, or just actually clicking on the Edit Multiple Frames button again turns it off. And I want to have the high scoreboard. So what am I going to do with that? Well, what I'm going to do with that is maybe put it before the intro. I think that's wise. So what I'll do is I'm going to click and drag, highlighting all these, and then I'll hit F5 to just keep moving these over. I'll move it all the way over to 10, or let's say 12, or 15. Yeah, that was 16. Control Z, that's 15 right and that's one of the nice things is that I can move these frames around because when I coded the button I said on press when you press the start button go to game on so it'll jump you to 20 um, it'll jump you to whatever frame the game on label is on so if you move the frames around later it still works and then on 10 here I will put um, a keyframe and this will be for the high scores and I'll put the label right I'll put H scores right for high scores right and this is where we'll have the high scores board 